Hello, everybody, and welcome to this Google Sheets lesson on histograms and normal distribution curves. Now, we're going to be looking at creating a chart that looks like the one you can see on the screen right now. And it's a chart showing a histogram, that is the distribution of exam scores, a thousand exam scores between 0 and 100, and how they're distributed. And we've overlaid that with a normal distribution curve, which helps us see whether the data is normally distributed or whether it's skewed. Now you can get the data from my website here by coming to Ben Collins, benlcollins.com, clicking on this histograms and normal distribution curves in Google Sheets blog posts, and scrolling down a little way to the step one where you can see this link here, copy the raw data scores into your own blank Google Sheet. Now if I open that up, which I have open here, I have 1,000 exam scores in column A of the raw data sheet. So I'm going to just go ahead and copy those. So I highlight them all, press Command C, I move to my blank document, Command V, and there I have my 1,000 exam scores. Step one then is just to highlight this data and give it a name. It makes everything so much easier. So I'm going to come to named ranges. I've highlighted all 1,000 and I'm going to call them scores. I'm going to create uh, some basic statistics, mode and standard deviation, average scores equals median, scores equals mode, scores and equals standard deviation population, scores. So there I have my um, summary statistics of this data set. It has a mean of around 56.9. The median or middle value is 57.5. And the mode or most frequent value is 61.5. And finally, the standard deviation is 15.9. That's my, uh, there my summary statistics. So let's now go and actually create a histogram. Now histogram is a distribution of the thousand exam scores. How do they fall? They, we know, I know they lie between 0 and 100, but are they bunched at the lower end? Are they bunched at the higher end? And how, how do they uh, distribute across that range? So I'm going to create some bins, some silos to put the exam scores in. So 0, I start from. I'm going to add on 5 each time and make some, uh, some bin sizes of some scores up to 5. So there we go. We went too far. Get rid of those ones. So there we have it. There's the the bins from 0 to 100. So what I'm going to do is move in the scores into these bins. So for example, 44.5 would go into this bracket here, which is the from uh, 40 to 45 bracket. The 72.1 would go into here, 70 to 75 bracket. The 37 would go in here, etc. So I, I want to apportion all 1,000 scores in that way. Now obviously that would be super tedious to do it myself, so we're going to use the handy um, frequency formula that Google Sheets has. But first, I'm just going to uh, label this range as well, because again, it makes it super handy. So I'm going to call this bins. Click done. And now when I uh, type my formula, frequency, scores is my data, bin, bins are my uh, classes in this case. So the frequency formula will do this um, this distribution for me. And then I need to press Control shift or command and shift enter a big one and then hit return and there we go it's distributed those values for me so now let me um, drag that down one so I can put some headings up here so these are my bins this was my histogram okay so that's step one now if I if I was to draw a quick chart here then you can see already what we're what this looks like Uh, column F is labels, and there we go. Straight away, you can see it's it's looking pretty normally distributed. This data, uh, the sixty to sixty five was the highest, but you can see it's all bunched around that fifty six mean value there. All of those high values. So let's cancel that. Let's go and actually now draw the normal distribution. So I'm going to insert um, a couple of columns here, and this is going to be norm dist formula. 
So I'm going to use the normal distribution formula. Norm dist. X, my value here, which is the bin value. I'm going to grab my mean. I'm going to hit F4 to lock it. I'm going to grab my standard deviation, hit F4 to lock it. And I am going to say false because I don't want a cumulative standard deviation. Then I'll just double click to drag that down. And there we have the normal distribution. Now if I quickly look at a chart of that, just to see, make sure. Chart. And I'll just go and customize it, make it smooth. And there you see, that's the normal distribution curve that we were expecting. So we know we've got some good data there. Let's cancel that. Now, you can see at the moment the scale of these is vastly different, so they wouldn't even show up at the moment on the same scale. So we need to scale up this norm, normal distribution so that it shows on the same scale as the histogram. So I need to multiply by 5,000. That's 1,000 values and bin size 5. So I'm going to simply type, uh, uh, select that value, multiply it by 5,000. And now when I drag that down, I get uh, some values that are much more uh, in the same range as the histogram. So you'll see that we now can plot these on the same chart. So our data is now almost ready to go. There's one last thing I need to do, which is just make a copy of that histogram column. And you'll see why when we actually create the chart. So we're going to call that histogram two to differentiate it. Now then, to create the chart, I'm going to highlight bins. I'm going to hold down the command key and drag and highlight these other three columns and omit the norm dist formula column. Then I'm going to come up to insert here. I'm going to click chart and chart type. I'm going to grab the combo chart here. I'm going to treat column F as labels. And already look, we're getting pretty close to what we're aiming for. So that's a good start. So then I come over to the customization tab. I'm just going to remove that title there, clear that out. Legend, I'm going to get rid of, I'm not interested in that. I'm going to make it smooth. I am going to select the left vertical, remove that, and I'm going to make sure it goes from 0 to 150 on my scale. And I'm just going to clear out the grid lines, not interested in those. And now then, this is where the magic happens. So for the series, I'm going to grab the normal distribution. I'm going to change it from columns to a line, and you see those blue bars, the blue columns rather change to this nice blue line. Then I'm going to grab histogram, and that at the moment is the line that's hidden behind the orange line. So if I change that to columns, they'll appear. That's very nice. And finally, histogram two, I'm going to change to stepped area. And there we go. Now it's really starting to look like a histogram. So then I'm going to change the color of that one to red. I'm going to change the line thickness to 1px and the area opacity to 70%. And there, now it's looking like a really nice histogram with a normal distribution curve overlaid. So let's click Insert. And we're very nearly done. Final few tweaks. I'm just going to move this chart to the side of my data. Drag over a little bit. Let's make it bigger. Very nice. And then I've click inside here, move and resize. I beg your pardon, let me move and resize. I need to have these uh, grid lines on before I can move and resize. It's a little uh, bug here within the, the chart. I'm going to just drag those out to sort of fill up the area. And then I can uh, finally just remove those grid lines. And there we have it. There's our histogram with a normal distribution curve overlaid. And we can see this data is pretty much normally distributed. It's very, very close to the normal distribution curve. It's maybe skewed a little left. That's all, folks. Thanks very much, and see you next time.